infinite. You know what I mean? And so whatever it is, it's around you. You're gonna really what's like attract whatever it is that around you. It's, it's gonna, gonna have come that mindset on your But the, the sports psychologist said, dream without any boundaries. So I had to ask myself, what the hell was I thinking? I actually manifested more than I actually. This is supposed to be imaginary. So imaginary is weak. What is it? It's a fear. Okay. <laughs> right? So then, ever since then, I said no. You couldn't, I don't tell any, any athlete what they could do or what they cannot do. Somebody tried to tell me when I came in there, one guy said, oh, uh, this guy thinks he's going to be flex wheeler in the sport. I said, wait a minute. I don't think you know who you're talking to. Right? They thought I was sure. We started, they saw they were this, they were this, they were this. A few years later, they, they saw me and then they were like, they were all shocked. Right? Right. You understand? Yeah, so we're just doing from, from the knees, just the thigh. Okay, so we think of it as thigh. Right? So you have to think every muscle in the thigh. Sometimes they think, oh, hamstring, quad. There's a lot more in, in, in it, right? Muscle in it. So you want to warm everything up. So as you're warming up, you're getting blood going in there. And then you're also getting your mental game going, right? Think of what it is that we're going to train. So if you have, like, say, your workout sheet, this is where you start going through it. You're getting yourself mentally ready. The creativity, whatever you wrote in that character straight, that's how you're going to embody that. So yours is going to be that character is fearless, right? So everything that you don't have, you add the opposite to it, right? You know what I mean? So that, so, so when you come in, it's like, okay, you turn into that person. So it's like a, it's like a movie. Because so there's no fear, it, right? So whatever you see in front of you, you just have to conquer. So whatever the, uh, what do you call it? The zoom workout in front of you, right? You come and conquer. Right? So that's how you're doing. So that's why they say not preparing is preparing to fail. So when you're so prepared, you give it all, hey, you go back and, right? There's no pressure. You know what I mean? So these are all the dimensions that you have to go through before you come and actually, uh, actually do it. Rather than just going through it. Now some people, they go in, they can do it for years, but they go through it. Right? In gymnastics, when you're going, cut the gymnastics, they'll say, okay, one week. It's a program. At this level, you have to know how to do this. At this level, you have to know how to do this. Next week, you have to do a cartwheel. The week after, yeah. right? Yeah. So this is working on your game. So oh, I don't even stretch. What do you do for stretching for quad? Not too much. Nothing. No? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> okay. So right here, you want to just right pull from rather the the uh, your ankle. Right, pull from right at the ankle. All right, guys. So today, uh, Mike's gonna put us through a workout. Uh, can I? Uh, sh uh, well, it was at the show, so he saw uh, like how it went and everything. And then I just like had a talk with him and kind of said um, what I had to work on. So like, kind of quickly said like no leg extension for me. It's gonna be a lot of like sweat and everything. So I was like, okay, I want you to put me through a workout. Can I like, know what I need to do? Um, and yeah, uh, I'm really, really eager, like right now, like learning more, like specifically what to work on, like technique, techniques, and everything, than just going through the motion. Uh, I think it's gonna be really important to like have a good off season and just like uh, really like put everything I have to like improve as much as I can, uh, leading up to like my next show. So really eager to learn a lot and just like yeah. I like kind of like going into every workout with a purpose so um, I wanted to bring you guys through it at the same time so you guys can learn so it's gonna be a good one kind of a little bit scared I'm looking at him right now it's gonna be like, yep let's do it you're getting yourself engaged you know my muscle connection don't worry there's tendons also right the joints right okay so come and use this one here so just yeah, as high as you can Push your whole body, push yourself forward, right? That's it. Right. And then you can even push. When you've done that, you can force your knee forward, bend the knee. Same thing. Same thing, but heels got to be on the floor. No, no. Same, 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 same position. So rather now, bend your knee forward. Force it, force it. Feel the pull on your, your Achilles. Yep. Force it, force it, force it, force it. And then hold to the tightest spot. And then hold. Deep breathing. Deep breathing. Yeah. Okay. Alright? So now, you're going to stretch your psoas, right? This is a muscle.
so that it's, it's tight and it just makes squatting hard for a lot of people, okay? So right in here, we're almost in a straight line. All right, I'm gonna force this down as low as I can. Okay, let's try it. Here, right? Here. Force. Stick this. Alright, so slow. Always strike very slow. Right. Don't force it too hard. Huh? You're really, really tight. So force it down. Push it down. Down. I would bring that foot slightly forward. Okay. Force it down. That's it. Force it down. Feel tightness in that, right? Yeah, right here. There you go, right? That can be so hard. very, very important. Otherwise, you notice if that's tight, you're gonna get a lot of pull in your in your lower back. Okay. What are we doing now? So now we're gonna do leg extension. We're gonna warm up the knees, all right, joints. And what? We're gonna do leg extension. Two percent with uh, seated seated leg curls. Okay. All right. Let's see here. No, you're gonna no, no, just give me a very light, very lightweight, right? This is warm up, so we don't really need to. These are all injury preventative measures. The action hasn't started yet. Okay, so now I'm gonna have you perform leg extension for us, and then we'll tweak some of your form, right? Okay. So I have a system. Always, what you do is first thing is. Establish what you do with the core, okay? Establish what you do with the core, okay? So in this form, you're gonna shorten the core, right? So right in here, right, like a punch. Now you're gonna bring it all the way up. Squeeze and hold, nice. Down. And then the next thing you're gonna think about is the breathing, right? You don't, you don't, want, you don't want to gas out before the muscle, right? So you breathe. Now you breathe in when you bring in, you're stretching the muscle, you breathe out as you contract. Okay, breathe in, breathe out and hold. Okay. So you sync your tempo with the breathing, right? So when you see somebody doing it too fast, then you're out of, right? So it's all a system. And you're following certain principles, right? So guiding through. And with this, you're gonna do like, you're gonna do about 25 to 30 reps, right? Just very light. Like, get all the, right? The Everything. Water bursts are gonna get folded up. And those are like airbags. So when you're ready to go race car, right? What do they do? They do they warm up from the engine yeah. and then boom. You can't just start the car no. and just go. Okay. Again, you wanna put put foot placement, put the legs together, you wanna squeeze them in together, okay? Also release here so the calves doesn't help, right? Same thing. Tighten the tighten the core. Just stay right here, all the way down. So your squeeze. feet are pretty close together then? Yes, you're actually squeezing them together like this. Like you're on stage? Oh yeah, that's exactly, right? Oh, okay. Sport specific, right? <laughs> this is what we're doing it for, so we have to do what we do on stage, right? So good thing sometimes when you have training partners, it's a system. So you're, co you're basically telling them what to do. And that state makes you stay mentally engaged, right? If you notice, you put your hand in here, make sure she can't, right? Very often you see they will do this and then they'll go, right? They're taking the hand, stress away from the hamstring, right? So you're watching and make sure she's doing everything, right? Maybe even more so the back here, also in here, right? Squeeze and hold, hold at the bottom, right? So you're engaging, you're telling them, okay, right? So you learn the system and then going back and forth. So when you come in here, you're already, because you've been and saying it. the same thing with me. Exactly, right? So it's not just pushing, oh, let's go. No, 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 no. <laughs> you have a protocol that you're following, right? Now, this is where we're in geometry class, okay? It's all about symmetry. So I think of 
like a painting on the wall. Everything has to straight. The painting that's crooked, nobody watches it, right? So when you're presenting your, your, you're presenting yourself, everything is in line, okay? Geometry. Okay? So what we're trying to do is, we want our spine. The idea is to have our spine straight, okay? So my feet have been. So yes. Yeah, so now first thing is, you notice how you're you're coming right in the middle here, okay? Yeah. So I would go wider, okay, to relax, okay? So I was to come here, very wide, right? Want to make sure in the middle, okay? Directly under, okay? So that bar. Okay. Okay. Now, to get that 90 degree angle between my hamstrings and calves, right? I have to go three quarter the length of my shoe forward, okay? So that's almost like the ball of the foot. And then, right? I'm gonna roll it out a bit, 10 degrees. And then, knee stays forward. You notice how my spine is straight, right? Yeah. Dry. That's it. Anything more than this, it's useless. Yeah. Okay? Wide yes. Like why, why do we do it? We go wide? A lot of times they'll do this. Your traps are tight. Right? And then now you're out, right? So just nice and wide. Directly under. On, on rack first. And then see. On rack first. Yes. Make sure you're directly under. Good. So. Three quarter. Good. Good. Knee goes forward. Knee goes, no, no, you don't start. Knee goes forward. Forward, yep, that's it. Forward, bend the knee forward, yep, that's it. And then, good. I will look up, right? So now use your peripheral vision. Look. Right. Keep your chin up. That's it. Down. Right. Right? When the knee goes forward, it works the teardrop. It's all about the teardrop, right? And then you're making sure her back is straight. Anytime her, she start going this way, that means she's pulling away from, right? Keep the knee forward, right? That's why you don't, right there is good. That's, good, that's yeah. right, right? Right there, that's it. Right there, lift it up, right? Use your peripheral vision, right? Try to relax your traps, okay? So remember what I was telling you from before? Her back is going to be tight. You feel her back here, her perirectors, already tight, right? Yeah. Right to the heel, right there, don't come up. That's it. Cross the tension. Then, come on. Right. Eight. Seven. Six, come on. Five, slow going down. Pause and drive it up. Come on. Four. Three. Two. Very good. That was good. Right? Yeah. So see the I, I, I think you actually perform a lot better with even this weight, right? So in the beginning, we don't yeah. really care. As you get stronger, you'll be able to use higher weight. But the trick is, if you can handle this for like, say, 30 reps, mm -hmm. yeah? Power factor, weight times, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, what, what do you call it? Weight times the reps, mm -hmm. right? Per minute. Mm -hmm. You will notice that you might even be able to do 35s easily for 25, right? So that's how, this is all injury preventative. Just yeah. stay high reps, high reps. And how did you feel, right? Now, now your cardio is tested, right? <laughs> there yeah. you go. Yeah, my, <laughs> right? my heart's beating so fast. But I guess it's good for like also holding on stage, right? Everything, that's it, right? This is an extreme sport, so <laughs> you got to push the limits, I okay? I said, I thought it was my breath. Yeah. I know, I'm like, that, that's, how, that's how you should feel. It's like nothing, it's like my hair, like, right? But then I forget to breathe half the time, so it's fine. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Good beginning. Good beginning. Okay. Valerie, is this different for you? It's so different. It's actually never, never kind of like, um, train like that. I used for legs. I used to do a lot of like super set, always like super set, triple set, trying to just like burn my quads and not focus on like one exercise and I. Like I kind of thought that like if I would focus on like one exercise at a time, I would have to like it's like kind of like to try to like go heavier and actually like yeah I love like working working out like that. I think it's really how you can improve the most. But yeah, I'm really excited to learn more. 
because we're getting ourselves yeah. into it, right? Yeah. There's no rush because once you get in there, there's no pulling back. Yeah. Right? Let's go. So what I say is like I actually love how um, obviously it's like new movement, so like I take more of my time to like get into the movement and everything. So it makes me think, uh, makes me like think a lot compared to like just going through like a triple set and like and like there's no wrong way of training, like but it's actually nice to learn like different I'm things. So it's like. Already. Learning can like working out it makes uh, makes you like um, work your mind at the same time as you work uh, your like your pods or anything. Um, it's really cool uh, instead of just going through uh, the set without like actually like not thinking about anything else. So uh, yeah, it's really interesting actually. We're gonna do what's called slow mo, slow mo hack squat, right? Okay. So never go wider than eight inches apart. Okay. So come closer. Okay, and what it does is 15 degrees to the outside. Okay, now what you do is because you want tension, you want to push through your heel. No, no, don't start, don't start here. So you're going to curl up this way. Okay, and open up a little bit in here. Open up a little bit. In here. That's too much. I actually want to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe if you just, right? Just to feel it, like completely. Yeah. Okay, so, here. so 15 degrees to here. the outside. Let it go out, right? Okay, so four, count it on my count. Four to come down, four to come up, okay? And I push through my heel? That, that, yes. Four, three, two, one. No, go on. Okay, okay. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, even if you're not doing cardio, right? You need the cardio. Yeah. Why? Oh, you, you gas out before the muscle gas out. There you go. So I'm gonna. So later on, what I'm gonna say is instead of reps, because I'll say squat for two minutes. All right. That sounds good. Down, lower, lower. All right. Fifteen degrees to the outside. Okay. Okay. So now another thing too. Make sure pin this and roll your shoulder blade forward. Forward. No, no, roll your shoulder blade forward. No, this way. And your spine is, is secured, right? Okay. There we go. Four, three, two, one. Pause. No, no. Pause. Pause. Slow coming up. Four, three, two, one. Right there. That's too high. Four, three, two, one. Pause. Four, three, two, one. Right there. Four, three, two, one. One pause. Four, three, two, one. Ten. Drive. That's it. I like that one. Again. Drive. Breathe. Good. One more. Drive. Good. All right. So see what's happening. So your Achilles is tight. Your hips are tight. Right. So you got to. So you see, it's an advantage for her. She has good Achilles is loose. Yeah. So she could drop her feet all the way down. So look what happened when you. So in here, right? When you do this, right? So drop it lower. No, 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 actually lay on there, right? You drop it lower, <laughs> drop this lower, and then try and see this, the teardrop comes in play. Yeah. So for you, it's very, very important, right? It's like so it would be good if I could be there. Exactly, right? What's this on me? Your like Achilles. here, like here? Your Achilles, your Achilles, Like you can go lower oh. than that right, right now. Right, so she, hers is tight and her hips are tight. Five, slow going down, slow going down. Five. Come on, slow going down. That's right, 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 right. Don't quit now, slow going down. Right. Three, come on. Four. Four. Three. Two. Okay. All right, so now me mechanics, right? No, no, don't start yet, don't start yet, okay? So now we want our knees just under the pad. So slide down a little bit, just under the pad, okay? Put, squeeze the legs together, right? Okay? Now, what you want to do is you want to be able to push in here so you're not arching. Let's go. Pull all the way up, squeeze and hold, right? You notice how your, 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 it's coming off, push it down. Okay, so let, let me lower the weight, right? Squeeze, hold. Slowly coming down. Good. And as you're curling up, force your knee downward, okay? And also press your thigh, sorry, your quad rather hard against the bench, right? That's how your hip wants to come off, thrust your hip downward to the bench, towards the bench. 
push the hip downward. There you go. That's it. Pull the knee downward. Good. You can keep your head up, yeah. right? And breathe. Breathe in. Squeeze and hold. Hold. Nice. Hold this here. Okay. So you stand. Give yourself about that much angle. I think of doing semi circle. Okay. Put the knee closer. Okay. Let's push it back. Okay. Oh, what the touch? Relax, relax a bit. Yep. Good, very good. Draw your shin up. Don't arch your spine. Good. Good. That doesn't move. Right? Stay here. Good. Come on, let's go, let's go. Your hip is offline, right? So that's why, okay? So literally, you should be able to always square up, right? You should be able to literally square up. So you see I'm standing here? Look, right? I pull out the angle here, and look what I'm doing. Even standing straight, watch this, right? Can I straighten? Yeah, but straighten up. That's it. Good. <laughs> There's so many other muscles that will come and play. So you see right now, I can see your hip is because you're, you're off, your hip is off. Yeah. There's an imbalance. How do I right? fix that? We'll fix it. In, in the, through. <laughs> it's like there's not even waves. It's like, and I have a hard time to like bring it up. It's just how, like, full and... The contract is my hamstring. I don't even know. When you both use the hamstrings to squeeze it before you squeeze the glutes, that's what gives it the tie-in. If you don't have that, if you don't have the hams, it just looks like, right? So it's supposed to be bubble. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's where you are hollow on stage when you diet down. So it's not when what you look like in the gym, right? It's when every, all the water, sub-Q water, intramuscular water, some of, the, some of it is pulled out what is left, right? And that comes from the training, mm -hmm. okay? That is why your shape comes from what you do off season, not in prep. So that's why off season is so important. That's why when you come off prep, uh, a lot of people actually start uh, their off season, like let's say they do a show and then couple, like they do like a month or two, they can like, like fucking around, can like doing like whatever, eating a lot of like bad food and then Two months after the show, they're like, okay, time to get my off-season, like, uh, focus on my off-season and get it, like, uh, yeah, like, really serious into off-season. It's like, well, it's kind of too late. Like, you're really so responsive and, like, everything's built during your off-season that you should, from day one after the show, if you're really serious about it, just go right into it and put all the effort right away. So, yeah. Right, so now we're gonna fix the imbalances, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna bring both feet up, right? You hold it up top, release one leg, and then bring it down, okay? All the way up, hold it. So now let me do it. I'm gonna release this, and then I'll bring that leg slowly coming down. Okay, up again. Hold it. Squeezing the whole time, okay? Right. Take your time, there's no rush, right? It's all time under tension. Nice. Nice. This would this would give this would give you an indication of which which one is stronger. So when, when you're using both, you know how to generate power between the, the left and the right, right? Nice. Doing this team. Your structure, you could have crazy legs. But I could tell them, and then when I saw them, I was like, fuck. You were a bit hollow in the legs. So what happens, some girls, they think they have big legs, but uh, they lose so much 
in some of the areas where some girls they're losing four inches by the time they get on stage. Oh, really? Wow. Yes. You understand? Yeah. So you want to really get them, and the high reps, what does it do? It creates density, right? It creates everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. So basically, what's happening is you want to get the um, you want to get the tension. Okay, you push Already, it back yeah. over here. So on that mount, right? It's almost like antithesis to squats. You know, squats. You put that in your heel. Yeah. This one, the other way around. Okay. So right in here. Yeah, because you can like already like. So, so stay, stay in the side, right? You see. So you want your handle just outside your hip, okay? So stay uh, really close feet as well. Okay, and you you always as a matter. So now, antithesis to what we're doing in the quad. So you know this quad we rolled out, 15. Yeah. You can actually roll in a bit. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> you do opposite, okay? Now what you're doing is pushing, right? You're pushing your glute, right? Downward. Okay? Shoulder blade stays up. You're watching Val? And then from here, it comes up, okay? Pushing it back, 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 back till it can't go anymore. Then you hold. And resist your shoulder blade from going down. Otherwise, your, your lower back will come in, right? It's inevitable. Your lower back will come in, but you want to minimize the amount of lower back that comes in. Yeah? So keep your shoulder blade up. Okay? Don't use your torso, right? It's just your hips, right? So push back a bit more. So now stop for a sec. Right, come up, come up and stop for a sec. So notice how your knees are bent forward, right? No. So now this way, you push everything back. Your knees are bent. Yeah, there you go. Down, down, down. Pause for a sec. Yeah, pause for a sec at the bottom. Pause at the bottom. Straighten your knees from that position slightly, ever so slightly. Bar close to your, your There you go. And now, hip forward, hip forward. Don't lift for your torso. Hip forward, yep. Yeah. Hips back and down. Hips back and down. Back and down. Hips back and down. All right? Hips. Hip forward, forward, hips forward. Okay, hips moving back, back and down, back and down. Good. Resist the shoulder blade from going down. Right? Between sets, you know what you're doing. All right, so stand here. So if you were basically, if you were able to drop. Right? If I was to drop the bar from here to here, what's the distance here? It's maybe like a foot and a half. That means that my butt and hamstring should have pushed back one and a half. If it didn't, then it's off, okay? So I'm going to show you something. So in between set, right? You don't have to do it. Just right sit here. And I'm going to just go back and let my butt touch this, okay? See? See what's happening? And then I'm going to come forward a bit. Keep practicing, okay? Right. Right. And then even more, right? As you come, okay? Push it back and down, okay? Right? So you see how see how far I'm going? Right? You see the distance between here? So that's how much room I'm covering. Right? There you go. That's it. That's what you're trying to do, right? So practice in between set. Let's go. Hamstrings touch, right? Good. Like that? There you go. What you were doing for the quad, it's opposite, right? To the hamstrings. The thing that you, you were missing, think of somebody could use it instantly. So that's where you're always checking off. So that's how you improve. Every time you check off on your inventory control, the stuff that are your weakness, every time you, over, you overcome it and you check it off, you're improving. You check it, right? So if you have a list of six things and in three months, two is missing, you've just improved, <laughs> right? Because if you have that, guess what? Teardrop's gonna fire more. If you have more teardrop, it's gonna happen. 
you're going to show a much better X Factor, right? You know what I mean? Because it's just the average athlete, you notice that everybody has legs, but it's all over the place, yeah. right? But if you have bigger tear drop. Like the, like the muscle test, like the, all the little pieces. Exactly. The medialis has to be sweeping, right? Lateralis has to also be sweeping, you know. So now these, so you notice how now the mindset is different when you're training. It's not just going and go do reps, no. Yeah. It's like classroom, right? And it's a system. Yeah. So you follow it each and every time, and your body's going to give you biofeedback. Yeah. It matters when, right? Project 2022. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So that's what's, all right. All right, guys, we're going to close that here. So it was a really, really good workout. I mean, it was a lot of like learning, which is really cool. Um, I'm excited to like keep improving on those. A big, big, big thanks to Mike. Uh, yeah, just I'm excited for like what's coming. Uh, it's cool that like me and Val can learn and can like we're gonna be like working out a lot together so we can actually like help each other, um, correcting like each other and just like improving uh, alongside. And yeah, so really thankful. Um, I think it's really good to have like good people around to help you uh, grow and improve. And yeah, Val, you have anything to say? <laughs> Of, uh, today. Um, I think it was a really great workout. I mean, it's it's something that we're not used to. I mean, we always usually come into the gym and train using supersets and, you know, all about kind of speed. Um, but today was a lot slower pace and we were able to kind of focus on the movement and the contraction, which I think in the long term will be more beneficial. Yeah. So. That's cool too because I... A lot of people are like stuck in their own way and like that's why I also I think like me and Val works like really well together is because like she's also like really like willing to learn so like even even when it was like me like trying to make her learn things that I've learned like in the like training that she wasn't there she's always willing to like learn she's never like oh no like whatever so I think it's really good but yeah uh, it's a lot of talking it's been a, like a long video but I hope you, if you guys made it to the end I hope you guys learned as well a lot um, if you guys like that kind of like uh, video can like learn more like learning style let me know I'll try to do more um, and yeah uh, thank you guys for watching I'll see you in the next one